Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, investor, coach, and business owner of AutomationLinks.com. And today I wanna to talk about a survey that we just finished up with, with over 3,000 business owners like yourself. Now what the survey was all about was asking business owners their most preferred way to communicate with their clients and customers. Now what amazed me was that 62% of business owners still like to communicate with their clients through email. 24% want to communicate with their clients through text messages and then the rest were calls in messenger now messenger was actually the last one that they chose now this stat is really important because i'm trying to get in the mindset of what the business owner is thinking are you thinking about yourself or are you thinking about what your clients want now let me throw one more stat your way 80 percent of clients would prefer to communicate with the business through text message now, only 24% of business owners want to communicate with text message. So are you thinking about yourself or are you thinking about your clients and what they want? Now, think about it. If you focus your business about what your clients want instead of what you want, think about how much, think about how successful you'll be. Now, I want to encourage you guys to get in the mindset of your clients. What are they looking for? What's going to help them the most and what's going to benefit them? Now, is communication an important role in your company. That's one of the most important things in our co company is communication. We use live chat on our website. We text our clients. We follow up through email and we always use messenger to continue the relationship. Now, if you're not using any of these channels, you need to catch up. You need to get on the same page with your clients and continue the communication. Now, one of the most important ways and reasons why you need to communicate with your clients is upsells. If you can continue building relationships with your clients, you can start selling them any service you think would benefit them. So you start out with your base package that you offer. A couple months later, once they're comfortable and they trust you, you can sell them the next package up. And now that you've really helped them, you've gotten testimonials and reviews from them, and they want to keep working with you, you can bring them up to the top tier of your business. And that's how businesses grow by up to three times just by continuing the relationship and communicating better with their clients. So I really hope this video helped you. We have the full blog where you can see all the stats, surveys, and responses from business owners just like you. And please leave a comment with your feedback on what you would prefer for client communication and then what you think your clients would prefer. Are you sick of all the information being thrown at you by all the hype and gurus online? Hey there, my name is Brad Smith with AutomationLinks.com. Six days a week, I answer user questions with the exact tips, strategies, and insights we use to grow our business. 